Okay. Now, Divyam Smina, you are Divyam Smina. We will start the interview process. Uh, your biodata says that you are a uh, you are a mechanical engineer, and you have taken geography as the optional subject in the main. Now, what is that? not a mechanical engineer. Uh, you are not a mathematics chemistry. BSc, BSc. BSc. Uh, BSc. Uh, graduation. Uh, this is not a. Sorry, sorry, I saw. This. <laughs> so you, he can. I have got it. You are a physics, chemistry, mathematics okay. student. Okay. You are a physics. Yes. Graduation BSc and your optional subject has been geography. Okay. That is correct. Yes. Sir. Now. But since you said that you were, <laughs> you tried to escape from mechanical engineering. My question will be. Uh, in India, India is having a good economic growth, but the manufacturing sector is lagging behind. So let me know what is this manufacturing sector is and why it is lagging behind in India. Sir, when you say manufacturing sector, it is about the production of goods in the country, about the industries, about the, uh, say for example, the manufacturing of semiconductors in India. Now when you say India is lagging behind in this, that actually leads to the structure of economy in India. Our economy was primarily aggregating earlier, after the reforms of 1991, we moved towards the service sector. And the manufacturing sector got lagged behind. A few reasons are that, that the logistics are not up to the mark compared to other countries. Logistics costs are very high. Likewise, in the past, there have been issues of price settings. And the business was also an issue in the past. Now, in recent times, we are focusing more upon the national manufacturing policy and logistics policy. Anyhow, you are expected to be very <coughs> on current affairs. You have to pay. Recently, the budget, yeah, budget of the Indian government was uh, presented in the parliament. You know? Do you find anything special which is likely to help our manufacturing sector? Yeah, please let me know in detail. In my understanding, more emphasis upon the capital expenditure. <coughs> Ten lakh crores, that will be a boost to our manufacturing sector. How will it help? Sir, the capital expenditure will first uh, into logistics in India, transportation and infrastructure. That will create a solid background for the manufacturing process to take place. Likewise, the this will also uh, give boost to the PLI schemes, the production and incentive schemes, helping create an enabling environment for the business and manufacturing industries in India. And through those steps, I think we can move forward. Okay, let me now move towards your geographic side. I find, you see, I am not a student of geography, just I find I saw the world map. I generally found that on the western side of each continental mass, there is some sort of desert. What could be the reason for this? You are getting my question? On western side of the land mass, we generally find deserts. What could be the reason for this? So, when you look at the tropical areas of the world, Western sites like Thar Desert, Sahara Desert, they show desert areas. It's because the winds are from the eastern direction. And when those winds go towards the west, due to the effect of continentality or the integrity of the continents, there is this issue of uh, less rainfall there because the rains have dried up, they have lost moisture in the process of moving over the land. And this uh, continentality and interior location of the, in the western margins, removing moisture of the easterly winds, causes desertification in those areas. Have you heard the word carbon sequestration, a very difficult type of word, sequestration? What it is? Uh, so in my understanding, carbon sequestration refers to storing the carbon. Uh, since so much of CO2 has been released through the uh, industries, now we have to store that up through carbon sequestration. This can be done naturally through uh, planting more trees and even through artificial technologies like uh, we have new plants of the, in uh, now there's a there for sequestering carbon, storing carbon. See, there's a lot of uh, talk of atmosphere, something like the greenhouse effect and something. What will happen if we don't pay any attention to these problems? What will happen in, to our world? The major impact of greenhouse gases emissions will be that the global warming would be there. And this will lead to climate change. Already the IPCC report has said that if there is there's going to be at least 2.7 percent of global warming. This will lead to massive deforestation. The Earth's uh, balance of the gases will be disturbed. Now, uh, we are already seeing this in the extension of many species 
due to biodiversity loss there. Second, in health impact, we can see uh, the diseases like coronavirus, zoonotic diseases are now spreading even faster than the earlier times. Climate change is going to negatively affect even the humans also uh, because, uh, uh, especially in the tropical areas, we can see we are seeing more disasters because of this high greenhouse gases causing more warming there. We can see more cyclones in India. Due to all these multiple sectors, especially in agriculture also, our food productivity will decline. This is not a good thing for us. Okay, that's it. Now the next member. Please, you can see it. You can see it. Here we go. 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 Okay. Divyansh. Am I audible? Divyansh, you are an NCC cadet. Is that right? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, Divyansh, tell me, uh, what, are, uh, what is the significance of Chief of Defence Staff? The Basin War, we realized that we require better coordination among all our forces. So, earlier we had a separate uh, Chief for each uh, force army in the Navy. But after the narration of the community, conservative community, we realized we require better coordination. But uh, we have integrated defense staff committee earlier also. So it was doing the same functions. So why CDS was required? Only for coordination? Is it just for entertainment or this is for excellence also? 
I think homemade it is for both the purposes. I do it for my recreation, it helps me for mental health. But also for improving my uh, physical fitness, to the excess, and it also helps me in achieving better uh, communication with people. So all these things are there for both the purpose. Entertainment as well as excellence. You got some medals so in running some college, school, interdistrict. State level. Did you? What is your timing? You are a short uh, spell runner or long distance runner? It's a long distance runner. That's why you have written endurance also, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What injuries uh, runners have? Generally, which which uh, bones are fractured of a runner uh, more than other uh, bones? You know that uh, the dynamics inside your body when you run, what uh, mineral nutrients you should take, otherwise you will get cramps and other things. You do something for it or not? for a smooth functioning of videos? So, there are a few parameters that we take into account. The very first thing is the frame per second. 
uh, if the video is too big, uh, then I think I would slightly reduce the frame per second for smoothly uploading the video and making the user experience more easier. Uh, likewise, uh, I think. Uh, mm, Uh, so uh, I'm not going to think of more parameters right now. Uh, okay. okay, fine. Uh, uh, can you tell me some of that uh, Jan Prilimis site in Rajasthan? Yes, sir. Sir, in uh, Rajasthan, we have the Mount Abu, the Dilwar temples are there, uh, multiple Jain temples. Uh, likewise, in Jaipur, we have uh, a big Jain temple under the construction nowadays. And uh, some of the Jain pilgrims across the street are there. There are some issues related to Jaina's temple in Gujarat and Jharkhand recently. Are you aware of these things? Yes, sir. What are that uh, yes, issue sir. related to that? So, sir, in Jharkhand, the issue was mainly about the Parasnath peak in the temple there. So, there have been uh, a proposal to increase tourism there and do some construction there. So local Jain community have been protesting against the disturbance to the temple and its infrastructure. Likewise in Gujarat, we have the Shikhardi Samir temple, the Paltana temple, and there have been allegations about vandalism in those temples. And again, the Jain community people have been protesting about those issues. Do you know that why that had vandalism has been done there? What are the issues? Sir, not even about the cause of the vandalism. What are the philosophy of Bahavir Jain? So, sir, the philosophy of Mahavir Jain can be seen through the three trinity of Jain Jainism that is, belief in the knowledge, faith, and good conduct. And that can be achieved through non stealing, uh, through calibacy, through always saying the truth, and uh, um, through non possession and control of desires. So, these uh, philosophies Jainism can be. Uh, my second last question, what are the drawbacks of that any candidate fight election more than one constituency either in Lok Sabha or Vidhan Sabha? Sir, a few drawbacks are actually possible. One drawback is due to that if the candidates win both the constituencies, then one constituency would have to, would have to be vacated. It would lead to bypolls leading to waste of public money. Second issue is that since public are not allowed to vote in more than one constituency, that gives an unfair advantage to candidate to constitute from more than one constituency. Uh, likewise, it's also not uh, very justified from the perspective of fair, fair, fair elections because some candidates are constant contesting from more than one constituency, relating this unfair advantage. Uh, my last question, suppose you are uh, very enthusiastic about the cricket. Uh, Rohit Sharma is a captain of all format, either in t a test series, T20 or maybe one day. Do you think it is a uh, well means uh, advised to retain the captain of Rohit Sharma for the entire three format of the game? Although I think that in my opinion, he has performed really well as the captain of all three formats. He has been doing consistently in all the formats. But we need to plan for the future. And so the next T20 World Cup is two years later, and by that time he may not be active in all the formats considering this age. So at least in the T20 format, we may go towards a newer captain to reduce his responsibilities also and prepare more for the future also. Okay, now uh, well relaxed, uh, we are giving you the feedback, <laughs> sir. Super. Uh, I mean, an individual. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just set it, kar dijiye. Yes, now we'll have the members will give you feedback. Place all to suit. You said carbohydrate while for energy, instant energy and everything. You know, cellulose, cellulose is also carbohydrate. Starch is also carbohydrate. And it takes maximum time to dissolve to get converted into glucose. So carbohydrate is a very vague word. It's instant glucose at the most sucrose. And even uh, you can say fructose if you want to take fruits before your exercise or something. 
so it should have been very particular Car- carbohydrate is a very big term your confidence is good your presentation is good knowledge also uh, budget you have prepared very well though uh, you forgot one two points you revise it budget is important event at present uh, when is your interview second march second march maybe if some new topic does not come sectorial uh, in a very sectorial manner you study the budget because something somebody will definitely ask and your knowledge about the indian economy and then uh, comparison with the neighboring states is very good uh, overall your presentation is good your dress sense is good though we have seen only your past but this is good it is impressive and uh, your face is smiles you focus on the uh, speaker this is good so wish you all the best the ranch sir has already summed up beautifully but i would say only one thing when you are from ncc read about the defense forces problem how ncc will help you was your was a beautiful answer given by you but knowledge about defense forces the functional aspect not in operational details are not required all the best आप ही बोल दें सर कोई नहीं आप ही बोल दें सर आप ही कर दें लास्ट आप ही कर दें सर अच्छा वेल यू परफॉर्म वेल आई विल से वेल यू हैव ए प्लीजिंग पर्सनालिटी एंड यू अपीयर कॉन्फिडेंट एंड हैज ए गुड वेल देन माय कलीग्स हैव गिवन यू द वेरियस आई डोंट वांट टू ऐड मच मोर बट यू सी यू हैव अपीयर्ड फॉर अ वीडियो ऑनलाइन मॉक इंटरव्यू i will suggest if possible do attend a physical mock into it is of course if it is convenient i think if you are in your own city or any institute wherever you can feel confident because you need the tensions of waiting outside the interview hall and then entering interview i think performance of interview is mostly your your cool calm knowledge of course is there but the interview board will be more will be more interested in seeing how cool calm you can be how can you face adverse questions what is your confidence level these are the needs for the administrator so i will suggest you can have mock interview session in your home also along with friends someone can there your family member or you can any nearby institute where you feel confi- uh, confident that will give you courage to face the interview board rest is good do do prepare general studies there a lot of the current affairs question may come there may be questions on your subject also so that is there you have you are a student of science but you have taken geography but geography and science there is some linkage there of course so many topics from the geography you can ask question but i will say improve your confidence you are confident make it more practice thank you yes the uh, viewers i think all the members has given you that feedback uh, your presentation is good i think that you have to maintain these things just try to knowledge and uh, update yourself for the current happening in and around country or abroad and uh, rest is you, you just try to maintain that pace only or uh, we, we are taking the online so much we cannot say that what is your body language only by seeing your screen and all but try to come for our off, offline mock interviews 